All right, well, this is an odd change of things. Video that isn't inside of the shop. Told you I'd show you a breakdown of this uh, <laughs> brake kit that I got from Willwood. Whenever I unboxed it, and I decided to do a little bit of assembly today with the hubs and the rotors and get the safety wire done, at least on the fronts. Since the rears, I can't do, I can't mount up yet since I don't have my axle finished. But the front, I could go ahead and mount, so I started it today. But um, I'm not a fan of uh, videotaping while I work. I don't know. I just I'm not quick with it, and I take my time, and it. I don't have the time to do all the editing, so it just seems like it's easier for me to just do little quick recaps of what was done than showing actual me doing work. But anyways, so this is the brake kit that I got. It is, I don't have the actual part number, but they are the Willwood Super Light um, six piston fronts. As you can see on this caliper here black powder coat and they are 14 inch slotted rotors these things are big so nice shiny hub on gorgeous billet material and the safety wire which is a bitch it is true what they say though once you get the hang of using this little tool Starts going quick, but uh, some little stainless safety wire and some red Loctite to secure these bolts that go on each one of these. And I'm just noticing this one has like a piece of the thread sticking up on it, but it didn't cut smooth or it left a piece of the cut on there. But anyways, so along with the other parts I've got, I have my Holly fuel pump. This is, i flip it over here, model 12, 1200. I don't remember the details of it. I got this used, as you can see the scratch marks on it. It's an eBay purchase. I saved a lot of money doing that. All these boxes here, minus this empty one, those two there are the master cylinders, all three of them for the clutch and the two brakes, the front and rear. Um, most of it's just plumbing stuff. AN wrenches, AN fittings, fuel regulator stuff, uh, more AN fittings, my sleeves for the hard line. That's my fuel filter for the fuel pump. There's a pre and a post. Oh, screw it, I can't get the thing to sit down. I also went ahead and threw this on the order. Holly carb spacer, four hole. Phenolic, phenolic, not sure how to pronounce that, but it's like a PC board material. And the reason I got this is because several people talked about the Holly Super Snipers with them having the ECU in the throttle body that you get a lot of engine heat that'll go from the intake and rise on into that throttle body. I mean, it's an aluminum throttle body injection system, so I'm sure it heat soaks. But they said by putting this, it eliminates that Con that heat conduction you get from that. But it also fixed some throttle issues. Apparently some people were reporting they had uh, idle air issues with uh, the, what are they, the dual plenum intakes where it's got the divider split. They said this resolved that. So I got it anyways. It wasn't much and figured it was some insurance. That is the rear brake kit. Um, I actually bought some of these here, intake, supposedly stainless studs. If anybody's shopping for some intake bolts that are stainless, don't buy these. They say SS. I don't think that stands for stainless steel. These things are magnetic as hell. Well. Got 
got some Moser long studs for the rear axles. And I bought these fancy things. Now this is some uh, China Bing Bong stuff, but they're quite pretty. These are my lug nuts. And they are stainless. Now the laser etching is not the cleanest, but they are actually stainless. And they seem to be pretty well made. I want to say I gave about 80 or 90 bucks for those. And it just comes with a socket. They're not keyed. I kind of wish that they were keyed for the price, but... Anyways, nice stainless set. And 80, 90 bucks for those. eBay specials, you can get them off of AliExpress, stuff like that. Well, pooch. So, I also have my wire, like I said, for my harness to have to run. I went with an auto wire Highway 22 system. And the reason being is, I'm not gonna take it out of the box because it's packed in here pretty tight, but this fuse block you see here, the way all this is ran is, I don't know if you can tell, you see it's got the relay here and it's got the individual fuses and it's got labels here. But there's a little like tweaker screw that's on the ends here. And the way you do it is you start at the end location plug it into your device, run it back to this, cut it to length, strip it, insert it in the end, and run the tweaker screw down on it and terminate it that way. So every single wire is cut to length perfect and nice and clean and tucked away. This will be getting mounted in the trunk somewhere. Along with other parts I got is power steering pump. This is to run the rack that I got and it's supposed to work perfectly for it. AN fittings on it. And with that, I got some other goodies in here. Um, that is a slave cylinder for the clutch. And then here is power steering bracket. And then of course the twist rod for the clutch, which I hope will work. And I bought these spacers. I don't know if I'd need them or not for the power steering. I actually got three of them because it was cheaper to throw one more on these, uh, or one more of these on the order. Because it gave me free shipping once I added those. And it was cheaper that way because those things weren't, I didn't need to add like three, four bucks to the order. And it was going to be like 20 bucks shipping or something. So I also bought this. This is, um, which you probably can't see. I think it's four wire. This is just four wire. Uh, strand, bundle, whatever. Got it off of Holly as well. I'm gonna use it to run some sensors, fans, whatnot. Just keeps it clean since it's all bundled. It'll have ground hot, well, ground relay trip probably. And the sender that third wire, or I could use it for two senders and ground. I also bought these. So these little bad boys are for a label maker and they print heat shrink. So you can have printable labeled heat shrink. I did not know about this until recently. Imagine that, it's quite useful. Got three different gauges. I'll be labeling all of my electrical. Actually, all of these have laser etched writing on each wire as to what they go to for the pre, pre ran wire stuff. So like headlights, gauge, fuel, et cetera, tail lights. It's all labeled on the wire itself already. Anything that's not already labeled, I'll be labeling with these. So like these bundles, my powers, my grounds, they'll be labeled. And I'll know what everything is all the way down or at least at the ends where I terminate them. Everything will be nice and neat. What pooch? There's my helper. She gets skittish with the AC kicking on. Not sure what made her that way, but every time it starts running, she starts getting antsy. But anyways, that's them. I went ahead and mounted up the brackets on the car, and I probably won't install these until later in the week. If I install them, I'm kind of sketched to go ahead and put them on. I might go ahead and mount these up with the studs and just not put these on the car yet and, or the calipers just to keep them clean. I'm not ready for them yet and they don't take long to put those or the calipers on. 
I might mock them up because you do have to get your shims right for the calipers. So where they mount is these little, on the back here, those two holes. And you have to get your shim height right on them. So I might go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and get these packed with the bearings and have them inserted with the studs. And these, all you guys do is slip them on, pop three screws through them to hold them, and they're golden. All right, made this video too long already, so thanks for watching, and uh, like I said, the fronts will be ready to go this week, hopefully. All right, guys, later.